हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू हस्तरेखा पाम रीडिंग आई एम गीतिका होस्ट ऑफ दिस चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस साइंस ऑफ हैप्पी एंड सक्सेसफुल मैरिज इन पाम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ एज यू ऑल नो दैट वेयर वी हैव द मैरिज लाइन और यूनियन लाइन वी कैन से हियर हैव वी हैव द मर्कुरी फिंगर मर्कुरी माउंट एंड हियर वी हैव सम हॉरिजोंटल लाइन्स ओके द डार्केस्ट वन इज योर मैरिज लाइन so the marriage line should be very clear deep straight without any bad marking that is considered the best okay now whenever we talk of marriage two planets are mainly taken into consideration that is jupiter and venus here you can see we have the jupiter finger and along with this we have the jupiter mount and here we have the venus mount so prominency of these two mount is required in order to have a happy and successful marriage life okay so prominent mount means that the mount should be covering large area of the palm and it should be bulging upside of the palm okay and with the mounts if the finger is attached that finger should also be long okay now when we talk of a person who is prominent with these two mounts the jupiter will give the qualities of making the person loyal loving they take care of their partner and they motivates the partner to perform better and the person with prominent venus denotes love helping others and the sexual pleasure so he will be abundant in these all qualities okay now these two mounts should not have a bad marking over them like you can see some dot like this and the grill like structure circle or you can say an island like structure okay and even on the mount of uh, venus cross is not good it is only good in just one case when the jupiter also have the same sign over it okay otherwise it is not good over this mount that is venus mount all right so this was the one thing now next we are talking about the influence line you can see here we have the this line you have the life line now there are many lines like this in your palm you can see these are known as your influence line okay so influence lines are formed of those whom you are deeply connected emotionally and mentally they may be your parents your spouse and your friend okay now do not confuse it with the mars line now i'll tell you what is a mars line here we have the life line and in pink you can see a mars line okay so the definition of mars line is line that runs closely and parallel to the life line is your mars line and the other lines will be your influence line okay and you cannot also call the vertical lines and the horizontal lines here as the influence line okay so a influence line should be very stable long dark without any bad mark marking is also considered very good okay now as i told you that uh, these influence this influence line can be of parent spouse or friend now how to recognize that it is your partner's line okay now i'll tell you let us consider it as your uh, influence line now any line from this line either joins the heart head line you can see this is head line this is your heart line any line either it joins the head line or heart line okay if any one is the case you can call it as your partner's line all right because uh, whenever the line from this influence line goes to head line it shows change in mentality and whenever it reaches the heart line it shows change in emotions okay so we can say that in the maximum time it is true but not every time in the maximum cases it is true all right yeah now we consider your heart line 
So whenever heart line reaches till superior, it makes the person idealistic. And whenever it reaches till Saturn, just below this finger, it makes the person materialistic. So the ideal case will be that this heart line should reach between these two fingers, okay? And it should curve up because it adds uh, warmness to the person and it also makes a person expressive in the relationship. Alright? Yeah. Now, one more aspect I need to explain is, yeah, a clear heart line with the girdle of Venus. Now, I'll tell you where is the girdle of Venus found. Girdle of Venus and circles these two fingers, okay? So, a clear girdle of Venus, Venus without any break and a clear heart line. When these two are present, it increases the emotional intelligence of the person. So that's a good indication, which is, uh, I think it is quite necessary for a happy and successful marriage. Now let us discuss the another indications. We have a fade line here in this hand, you can see like this. Okay, so a line from moon area, this is the moon area. A line from moon area when joins the fate line or when the fate line starts from moon and goes like this and uh, cross is found on the supita. In such a case, in the male hands, in such a case, either this or this, the person has good fortune from female partner. And uh, we can also say constant support of the female partner lifetime. Alright. Now let us discuss one more thing. You can see this is the Zupita finger and this is the thumb. Uh, you can clearly see that uh, in, in this pic you cannot clearly see. But in, the, in your palm you can see that there is an angle in between these two things. Like this finger and this thumb. Okay, so when the angle is huge, it makes the person broad-minded and kind-hearted. These are just the additional things which add up to the happy and successful marriage life. Alright, so this was all regarding the happy marriage, uh, happy marriage signs in the palm. This video ends here. Now, if you have any doubts or queries, you can reach me up on my Facebook page. Link is given below in the description. I hope you liked the video. Bye-bye.